cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the e is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the e will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome po to our second quarter week one. Eight and Life Science Day, mga ka-ELS. Kumusta kayo dyan? By the way, I'm Tutor Jules from Kabiga High School, Kalaakan City. And let us welcome my partner, uh, our program head, Tutor Tony. Hi, great day sa iyo, Tutor Jules, at great day sa ating mga ka-ELS at sa lahat ng mga hashtag mahusay na kabataang Pinoy at mga kapwa nating guro all over the Philippines. Oras na para ihanda ang puso at isipan para sa panibagong linggo na puno na ang agha amazing na pagkatuto. Dito lamang yan sa hashtag Itulay Level Up. I am Tutor Tony of Nova Leaches High School, SDO Quezon City, and... We are very excited, Tutor Jules, because we are starting or we are kick-starting our quarter two with week number one topic entitled, The Evolving Concept of Life Based on Emerging Pieces of Evidence. So later on, we will be acting out as bio-investigators because maghahanap tayo ng mga pieces of evidence para itrace natin yung pag-develop or pag-flourish ng buhay or ng mga different life forms sa ating nag-iisang planeta. And I think, Tutor Jules, may kailangan tayong pasalamatan. Yes po. Thank you, uh, DepEd Region 4A Calabarzon for providing and sharing the Earth and Life Science module po. Maraming maraming salamat po. And for our attendance check, please, please, please mga ka-ELS, uh, please uh, do share our live stream para mas marami pa po tayo mga uh, ka-ELS, mga students and mga schools na maabot. And of course, reminding everyone to please be respectful with your comments. So, GBGB lang tayo mga ka-ELS, mga good vibes lang tayo. Don't forget to type in your name, grade and section, school and location, as well as the name of your Earth and Life Science teacher dyan sa comment box. And don't forget to like and share, of course, our uh, Facebook page. That's Itula ELS with Tutor Tony and Tutor Jules. So mga nakapag-share at nakapag-like, maraming maraming salamat po. And at this point, we would like to acknowledge or recognize, ito yung utang natin, Tutor Jules, last time, no? for our quarter one, week number seven. Congratulations sa ating mga hashtag mahusay uh, learners, teachers, and schools. Starting oh. off with our new friend, from Tumawini Stand Alone Senior High School. Hello, ma'am. Joanne Magallones. Ayan, uh, good afternoon po sa inyo. Thank you for sharing our live stream. At maraming salamat po sa pagsuporta sa, sa advocacy ng Itulay. We also have Ma'am Gemma Lynn C. Fronda. Hi, Ma'am Gemma. From Jones Rural School, Isabella. Who else, Shooter Jules? 
thank you po sa mga school, Ibisan National High School from Ibisan Capiz and Carino National High School, Carino Isabella. Ayan, mga bagong partner schools natin. And of course, uh, we're also saying thank you sa ating mga loyal uh, school partners, no, Tutor Jules. Maraming maraming salamat sa pag. So, bye-bye sa aming mga tutorial sessions. And for our ELS Student of the Week, finally, congratulations to Nicole White uh, Hapor. Uh, she is a grade 11 uh, general academic strand student, section thorium. From Daniel R. Aguinaldo, National High School, Davao City. I hope you're watching right now and saying uh, good afternoon as well to Tutor Jen, Ma'am Genevieve Pepito, her ELS teacher. So once again, congratulations. Hashtag Mahusay. And for our objectives, for our quarter two, week number one, ito yung pinaka main objective natin, mga ka-ELS. We have to explain the evolving concept of life based on emer emerging pieces of evidence. And specifically, uh, ito yung mga target natin for this afternoon. First, identify the sequence of events of the history of life on Earth. So, magka-travel back pa rin tayo ulit sa uh, Earth's history. Pangalawa, name the pieces of evidence. Yung sinasabi ko kanina, mga ebidensya. <laughs> pieces of evidence on the evolution of life on Earth. And finally, syempre, kailangan ma-recognize natin at ma-appreciate natin yung importance of knowing the history of life on Earth. Earth. So, ano ba itong tinatawag nating life science, Shooter Jewel? So, yeah. pwede bang bigyan mo ng konting background ng ating mga ka-ELS? Okay, so for the introduction to uh, life science, this is the given definition. Life science is a collection of disciplines that is made up of theories and principles that tackles the structure and function of living things starting from the molecular level up to the entire ecosystem. So when we say collection of uh, discipline, that is the, the action of gathering, facts, informations, mm -hmm. and knowledge that is made up of theories. Theory, when we say theory, that is the, ano, the, um, that is an information with validated explanation, okay? An information with validated explanation for a particular instance. And then when we say principles, uh, when we say principle, that is the a fundamental facts that tackles the structure and the function of the living organism. So you start from the function of the living organism from the molecular level, that is the basic part, up to the complex part, which is the ecosystem. Ecosystem. So I'm very excited, Tutor Jules, no? Kung quarter one ay nag-earth science tayo. So for this quarter, all of our topics, all of our discussions nice. will be revolving around uh, biology. So mga biological sciences tayo. And I think we need also to review the different branches of biology, starting off with, ayan, nakakita ko na, sorry po. Study of animals, we have zoology. Sa mga plantito at plantita, Tutor Jules, and to oh. study of plants. And the study of plant is known as botany. Botany. How about and this? very important. Uh -oh, How about very important the po ang study of the of this microorganism? Yes, uh, microorganisms. The picture represent the virus, not only actually virus mm -hmm. yun eh. Uh, the bacteria, the fungi, that is microbiology. Biology. So we have zoology, botany, and microbiology. Bio Pero as we go along with our discussion, no, so this quarter two, marami pang mga branches na malalaman ng ating yes, mga ka-ELS. So I think may mga mamimension si Tutor Jules sa slide na to. So bakit nga ba mahalagang pag-aralan yes. itong biological science, Tutor Jules? Ito na to. Uh, the life science is also known as biological science. Ito. This field advances our knowledge about the anatomy, another, uh, no, another branch of biology that deals yes. with the uh, structure, parts, ma ma parts. Uh, yes. the body parts, like mm -hmm. ano nga ba? sample of body parts, the heart, lungs. the brain, lungs, the and brain. everything. Okay, those are the examples. And then uh, cell biology deals with the, uh, the structure, and their parts and their interaction also the behavior of the cell like yes. ano nga ba yung mga cell na yon like the sex cells yon the uh, somatic the, cells the blood the body cells. cells okay uh -oh. yeah, and that is under cell biology and ecology okay that is a branch of biology that deals with the interaction with the living organism to another organism and their physical interaction to their environment yes and that's correct genetics 
Another is genetics. Genetics is a branch of biology that deals with the study of uh, heredity. Okay, the heredity, those are the the characteristic, the physical characteristic uh, inherited from your, from the parents to offspring. Mm -hmm. And we have also the molecular biology. Uh, molecular biology deals with the interaction of the cellular molecules, like ano nga ba yung mga cellular molecules na mga yan? The nucleic acid, Yes, the proteins, and then the proteins, yes, which is very important, which is very important to the ano, to the biological process. Uh -oh. And then the last one is physiology. It refers to the functions and activities of the living organism. Ayan. So, is, ilan lang yan sa mga na-mention ni Tutor Jules. No? Marami pa actually tayo mamimension na mga different uh, sub-disciplines ng biology. And tamang-tama, uh, uh, Tutor Jules, are you fully yes. vaccinated? Fully vaccinated ka na ba? So, yes, ano, against COVID-19? Fully vaccinated po. Yeah, so this is uh, one yeah. of the application of, of the Department of Microbiology. Yan, product of the Department of Microbiology, the COVID-19 vaccine. So let us support COVID-19 vaccination program. Protektahan ang ating pamilya, paaralan at pamayanan. Alamin ang tamang informasyon. Magpabakuna, Magpabakuna na mga anak. <laughs> Back Ayan. to school. Gusto uh -oh. nyo na bang makita ang inyong mga teacher? Gusto nyo na bang makita si Cross? Gusto nyo ba yung <laughs> classroom atmosphere? Gustong gusto yes, na po namin. Okay, uh -oh. so, gusto natin lahat yan, Shooter Juice. So kapag may pagkakataon, no, I think meron na mga pediatric vaccines na sakop yung mga ka-ELS natin ng mga senior high school students. So kapag meron ng pagkakataon mag magpabakuna against COVID-19, so take the opportunity na mga ka-ELS. Alright? Okay, so I think we are now ready to discuss our map for this afternoon. Again, that is the evolving concept of life based on emerging pieces of evidence. So, Tito, Tutor Jules, no, ma-share ko lang. So, si Tutor Tony nyo kasi medyo mahilig or sobrang na-appreciate ko kasi yung mga artworks. So, I have this uh, kind of artwork right here na pinapakita or kung saan pinapakita kung paano nag nag-boom or nag-flourish yung pag uh, nag-evolve or nag-diversify yeah that's the right word kung paano nag-diversify ang mga from simple organisms to a higher or more complex organism so from microorganisms nagkaroon ng mga invertebrates and then vertebrates hanggang sa mga present organisms na alam natin ngayon so pag-aaralan natin yan this afternoon at sa mga susunod pa nating sessions. Okay. So for this particular presentation or slide natin to introduce, paano nga ba natin malalaman na isang entity ay isang living organism? So paano ba masasabing ano siya, buhay? Ayan. So tingnan natin mga ka-ELS, i-assess ninyo mga sarili kung meron kayong mga gantong characteristics. Baka naman papatay-patay kayo dyan. So hindi pwedeng ganun. Kailangan Again, sinasabi ni Shooter Tony palagi, ang pag-aaral dapat ginagawang investment. Alright? Isa-isahin natin ang mga indicators or characteristics of life. First, are you responding? Nag-respond ka ba sa environment mo? So of course, syempre, nag-react to stimulus. Kapag nainitan, pinagpapawisan. Ayan, di ba? So, we, we do different uh, responses kapag may changes sa ating environment. Pangalawa, do you grow and develop? I'm sure... Uh, hindi mo naman mararating yung appearance mo ngayon kung hindi ka nag-progress, di ba? So, yeah, you should have uh, grown and developed. The third one is, are you capable of reproduction? Yes, so we humans and all other life forms are capable of reproduction whether it is in a sexual or sexual manner. So that is, again, reproduction. Pang-apat na uh, indicator to Jules, kailangan we exhibit or living organisms exhibit metabolism. Ano ba yung tinatawag nating metabolism na yan? So naririnig natin yan sa mga ano tutor Jules, iba sa mga nagda-diet or sa mga medyo slim. So ang sabi nila, ay buti ka pa ang bilis ng metabolism mo. So pag sinabi nating metabolism, this is our body's way kung paano niya nagagamit yung or natatransform yung energy na uh, nanggagaling sa pagkain na kinakain natin. So that's actually the overall chemical reactions that happen inside our body para makapag-produce ng kailangan na kailangan natin na energy. So I hope ang mga kailas natin ay may energy pa at this moment. Next is, ayan, very important. Dus ko po. Uh, we should, or living organisms should maintain what we call homeostasis. So pag sinabi natin homeostasis, kakabit nito yung uh, words na internal balance or stable environment. So, ibig sabihin, kaya nating mga living organisms uh, makapag-maintain ng internal environment natin 
uh, kung, kung meron man changes sa environment. Alright? And finally, ayan. So of course, all living organisms are made up of cells. Alright? So speaking of cells, review natin din Shooter Jules sa kanila ang types of organisms based on cell structure. On our presentation right now, you can see, ayan, sa left, we have... Alright, excuse lang. We have this one, an animal cell, right? And on the right naman is we have a bacterial cell. So ano bang pinagkaiba nila? So isa-isahin natin. So basically, we have two types of organis organisms based on cell structure. The first one are the eukaryotes, kasama tayo dyan. And we have the prokaryotes, ang ating mga ancestors. So mamaya, titrace natin ha, kung bakit tinawag natin silang mga ancestors. So basically, ang main difference nila would be this. Eukaryotes are any cell or organism that possesses a clearly defined nucleus. Nucleus contains the, ano, the genetic material and controls all the other uh, activities ng cell. Kung i-compare natin sa prokaryote, ang sabi dito, prokaryotes are any organism that lacks a distinct nucleus. So as you can see here, wala siyang distinct na nucleus. Alright? And another uh, feature ng mga eukaryotes natin, mga ka-ELS, is that they contain organelles. Pag sinabi natin organelles, if you would recall sa inyong junior high school, uh, these are the little organs or mga other organs along with the nucleus na para uh, they function para at least maging uh, productive ang ating mga cells sa katawan or sa any other forms of life. So walang ganoon ang mga prokaryotes. And based sa structure nila, medyo magulo. Kumbaga, in terms of organization, medyo komplikado siya. Parang ano mo lang, ang feelings mo sa, sa crush mo, medyo joke lang. <laughs> Ayan, other organelles, due to, ab due to the absence of internal membranes. So, pag sinabi natin mga internal membranes naman, mga ka-ELS, so kung baga wala parang walang ano, walang boundary, wala nang separate kaya nga medyo disorganize ang ano, ang mga prokaryotes. Although uh it still function no as a living system. So, all right. So again, eukaryotes, meron siyang distinct nucleus at organelles, prokaryotes, yun yung wala silang ganun at absence na iba pang mga organelles and internal membranes. So sino-sino ang may eukaryotic cells? So kasama tayo diyan. So we have animals, plants, fungi and protists. And kapag eukaryotes, we can be or they can be unicellular or multicellular. Pag sinabi natin unicellular, it's made up of only one cell pero living organism siya or it is a multicellular organism. Pag sinabi namang multicellular naman, it is made up of two or more or hundreds or thousands or millions or billions of cells. All right? For prokaryotes naman, ang under nito or yung mga member or representative organisms would be bacteria and the archaea, mga special types of bacteria. And all of them, take note ha, all of the pro uh, prokaryotes are unicellular. All right? And in terms of other structure pa, ito yung naman yung uh, uh, commonalities nila or similarities. Both the eukaryotes and prokaryotes, they have what we call the cell membrane, na yan, yung pinaka-outermost na covering nila, that regulates kung ano man lumalabas or pumapasok sa system ng mga cells. They also have the cytoplasm, the substance inside, kung saan makikita yung mga components. And of course, very important sa heredity and variation, the deoxyribonucleic acid or the DNA. And then finally, the ribosomes which produces the protein, yung na-mention namin ni Tutor Jules kanina na very important macromolecules sa ating mga living organisms. Again, ang similarities nila, they both have cell membrane, they have cytoplasm, DNA, and ribosomes important for protein synthesis. All right, and have you been curious of when and where did life possibly start on Earth? So medyo may idea na kayo dito when we discuss about Earth science, di ba mga ka-ELS? Ayan, so uh, sasagutin pa natin yung tanong na yan, but because, ayan, so tingnan natin yung ano dito, structure or yung diagram here. So it says here, during the 1800s, geologists, Alam nyo na yung function or ginagawa ng geologists, di ba? So they are the experts about earth science. Pag sinabi, na, sinabi naman nating naturalists, these are the experts naman sa mga uh, natural world or na mga biological sciences nga natin. Found, they found several forms of physical evidence that confirm, ayan, confirm that the earth is very old. And because of that age, of course, nag- uh, nag-transform, nag-evolve, at nag-diversified nga ang buhay. So ano nga ba yung mga evidence na yun? So the evidences include, right, first are the fossils. So, we're familiar with fossils. Uh, fossils of ancient sea life on dry land far from ocean. So 
anong ginagawa ng mga fossils ng Asian sea life sa dry land? So this supported the idea that the earth change over time and take note some dry land today was once covered by oceans diba so uh, ilan sa mga very significant fossils are is we have we have the trilobites na ba dumami yan during the uh, part specific history ng ating planeta yung mga early forms ng uh, arthropods natin we also have ayan anong ginagawa on the right uh, lower right na inyong uh, screen right now you can see a fish fossil na nakita sa Himalayas mountain range. So anong ginagawa ng fish fossil sa isang bundok or sa bulubundukin, di ba? So that only means or that only supports na before yung mga lugar na yun or may mga lugar talaga sa mundo na they were once covered by oceans. Ayan, so number one evidence natin ay fossils. Pangalawang ebidensya. So familiar na rin kayo dito, na-discuss na rin natin to sa ating earth science. So the, uh, we have the second, the many layers of rocks. So this allowed the people to realize that rock layers represent the, the order in which rocks and fossils appeared. So thus, they were able to trace the history of Earth and life, of Earth, uh, life on Earth. So this only means now, on a particular level, di ba? So the wa, ayan, may label yan, 1 to 7. So the pinaka-bottom na yung mga nauna, of course, mga older na organisms. And on a particular layer, may nakita silang particular fossil that suggests kung anong particular organism ang nabuhay during that uh, time sa history ng Earth. And the third, ayan, so, syempre, lagi natin na may mention na ang inang uh, Mother Nature, inang kalikasan ay very, impor very important and very uh, powerful din because the indications that volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and erosion that happened long ago chinate nito o nilandscape nito kung ano man ang nakikita natin ngayon sa sa surface ng Earth, which also suggests that our planet is also uh, is also a, a, an old planet, right? So again, that's fossils, the layers of rocks, and the, uh, the different geologic processes. After this, I think uh, Teacher Tutor Jules is now ready to discuss with you. Meron tayong babalik tayo. Ito yung sinasabi kong babalikan natin, no? Na Tutor Jules, na specific yes. histories or part ng history ng Earth. Ayan. Yes, so, ano bang the timeline na of events. Okay, uh -huh. for this timeline of events, uh, let us analyze the timeline. You are going to arrange later on uh, yes. in the next page. Uh, you will write number one to six under each picture to show the order of the appearance of the life forms on Earth. So let's have the 4.6 to 3.8 billion years ago. By the way, the description is presented through the picture on the right side of the slide. Yes. So that is number one. The early Earth is said to be violent because of the meteorites and volcanic eruption with the condition circon crystal was formed. Mm -hmm. so, so ano ba tong circon crystal na to, yes. Tutor Jules? That so is zircon... uh, rarer, rarer than diamond, sir. That is rarer mm -hmm. than diamond. So, ginagamit ito ng mga geologists. Uh, one of the minerals na ginagamit ng geologists para ma-determine yung uh, age ng mga rocks. So, very important tong appearance or existence ng mga zircon crystal. Let's proceed with the next event. Okay, next is the life on Earth initially began with prokaryotes discovered in sedimentary rock formation called stromatol stromatolites. Yun. So, na-discuss mo na ito kanina, sir. That was 3.5 billion years ago. Mm -mm. So, uh, related yan sa next event natin, Shooter Jules, no? So, 3 billion years ago. And then next, the first photosynthetic organism tribe the earth, which is blue-green algae called cyanobacteria. Ayan. And of course, if you would recall na no, Tutor Jules, nung hindi pa stable yung uh, planeta natin, kumaga medyo ano pa, we are being bombarded by uh, 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 other entities, mga meteoro meteoroids, asteroids uh, sa outer space. So medyo toxic ang ating atmosphere. It was only during the formation or the, the existence of the cyanobacteria kung saan nakakontribute ito para magkaroon tayo ng a uh, stable amount of oxygen. Ayan, so nagkaroon na ng oxygen and then eventually, uh, history, yun nga, uh, as they say, no, history, the rest is history. So nagkaroon na ng presence ng other life forms because nagkaroon na tayo ng existence ng very important gas called oxygen. At dahil yan sa mga cyanobacteria. Two billion years ago, what happened, Shooter Jules? 
appearance of the first eukaryotes and the impact Ayan. of multicellular organism occurred 1.2 billion years ago. So when uh -oh. we say influx, they appear in group. Yes. Uh oh. And we have also to take to take note, Tutor Jules, no, from prokaryotic organisms, no, kanina, so from simple or simpler organisms, nagaron tayo namang more complex in the form of eukaryotic cells. And then right after that, 500 million years ago, what happened? The Paleozoic era when the tri the tri the trilobites and the cephalopods become dominant in the ocean, particularly during the Cambrian and Ordovician. So, oh, the Ordovician period. The... Ayan. So, alam na alam na nila yun. Yung trilobites and an example of uh, cephalopod. Nakita natin yan mamaya sa exercise natin. And 251 to 65.5 million years ago, our favorite era. <laughs> yes, the Mesozoic era, the age of reptiles. And uh -huh. has a span of 251 to 65.5 million years ago, divided into Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous period. Sabi ko, mm -hmm. may mga estudyante ako na belong to that era eh. <laughs> Sana ano ngayon no as they grow up as senior high school students sana mag-move on na sila sa next ng mga era the Cenozoic era na tayo all right so the Cenozoic era that was 250,000 years ago yes and the the Homo erectus have evolved yan mm -mm. nag evolve yeah. na Homo, Homo erectus which is known as ang taong lumalakad ng tuwid Mm. Homo erectus means uh, the upright man, Tutor Jules. Mm -hmm. And counting uh, trivia lang, uh, they are our first of our relatives or ancestors to have human-like body proportions. Ibig sabihin, proportion na yung arms, yung uh, haba ng arms sa torso natin at saka sa, sa legs. Part. Kasi iba yung mga nauna, di ba, mahahaba ang kanilang mga uh, arms. All right. And they were also the first known hominin to migrate out of Africa. And according to some studies, they are possibly the first to cook food because of yun nga, siguro yung discovery ng fire. All right. I think we are now ready to discuss, or I mean, to answer. Ayan, ready na ang inyong mga keypads. Okay. It's your turn, mga anak. So, uh -oh. arrange yun lang. Right number, right number one to six. Uh -oh. So, Kung ano yung unang nag-exist, yun yung number one. So, let's say number one. Uh, by the way, uh, the picture show the order of the appearance of life forms on Earth. So, number one, yun yung first na nag-exist. And then number two, uh -oh. is it, uh, number one, is it A, B, C, D, E, or F? So, okay. you can answer so, bigay now. Na natin yung one, first, two, uh, six. Bigay na natin yung first tutor, Jules. Kasi so, nga, ito, isa lang, ito yung isa sa mga, ano, hindi siya living organism. Eh. Pero very important na kanya existence. Ayan. So letter D is our number one. The existence of what we call the zircon crystal. So ano kaya yung pangalawa dyan? Okay, so while we are waiting, um, shout out lang ako sa Glitter. Oh, shout out po kayo, Tutor Jules, habang naghihintay tayo ng sagot. Or pwedeng so, sagutin nyo na ha? From, oh, mga anak. From Aurora Senior High School, SDO Isabella, Sir Leo Angel. Leo, hi. Good afternoon. May bago tayong my school, sir. Inasloban, mm -hmm. Marawa, Integrated, National, STO, Lipa. Wow! Ay, meron tayong matangas. bago sa Lipa. Ma'am, ay sir, Jerwin A. Gutierrez. Hello, sir, Jerwin. Hello po. And then from Ashiswals, uh, from Daniel, or Aguinaldo National High School, Davao City. And from Ma'am Kamayo, of Lalawanan National High School. Hello from Oscar Garcia. And meron pa. Meron pa kanina, kaya lang di ko na makita. Di ko na May mga sumagot na ba, Shoot for Jules? Ating yes. exercise so, or learning task? Number one. Punong-puno mm -hmm. pa lang ng attendance hanggang ngayon. Number two na tayo. So number one, the exit, or number one, okay na. Ayan. Number so, one is the Circon oh. Crystal was formed. And mm -hmm. then, sir, still waiting. Ating number two is, would be about the presence of the green algae. The na first photosynthetic mga organism. Uh -uh. Ano po? Alright. So, dahil dito nagkaroon ng presence ng, ano, no, ng oxygen. So, naging mas stable ang Ayun, ating atmosphere. So, one is E. Mm -mm. No. So, one habol na lang yung yes, iba, no? Yes, you are correct. You are correct. Mark Junri Napoles. Yeah, it's one Mark Junri. Hello na. Okay, Mark Junri Napoles. And then for number two, it's letter C. 
C. Waiting po. Letter C. Sinong nakakuha? For number two. Puro number one pa lang to. Mm-hmm. For number two, it's letter C. Letter C. Medyo nahirapan yata ang ating mga ka-ELS kasi based sa drawing. Uh, pero mm-hmm. pag nakita nila dun sa module, may ano kaya, may keyword kasi na may mga word na nasa bandang baba. So, that will be the guide. So, for number two. Sige, habol na lang po sila, Tutor Jules, kasi we still have okay. other exercises pa. Yes po. For number uh, two, sige, for number it's C. For number three na po tayo. Uh, uh, let number three is E, the presence of, from prokaryote, nag- nagkaroon tayo ng mga eukaryotic organisms. Number four okay. would be letter B. Ayan na. So, nas, yes. nas, nas, nag-evolve na ang buhay. Nagkaroon na mga invertebrates. Ayan. Number five is letter F, the presence of the, the giant lizards or mga dinosaurs natin. And then finally, uh, man was able to stand upright. Yung letter A natin. That is our number six. Ito. Baka mas okay. madalian sila sa next task natin. So, ang favorite Anak, natin, uh, pag-arrange ng jumbled letters. Naka number five naman na kayo. Ito, mas madali na. Okay, uh-huh. so naka 1 to 5 naman na sila, 1 to 6. So let us proceed to the next. Um, arrange the jumble word. Number 1, a marine animal first evolved at the beginning of the Cambrian period, 542 million years ago, where they dominated the ocean. What's Ayan. the word? Kitang kita. Okay, meron na ba? Starts Hanggang with letter T. Number, number 6 pa rin sila. <laughs> Baka nag-aana lang po. Number, yes nga po, medyo bagal. And then for number two, pwede na rin sagutan. Number two says, the modern human yes, that have evolved right. 240,000 years okay. ago. Okay, trilobite, you are right. Trilobite. Uh, Aleya Chavez, who else? Aleya, hello. Okay, for, for number two, meron one? na rin. Meron na rin, the modern human that have evolved 250,000 years ago. Homo erectus, according to Mar- Mark Junry Napoles. Napoles. Homo okay. erectus, you're correct. Beverly Lorenzo. Okay, for the third one. A basic cell type which lacks a true nucleus. O yung walang nucleus. Ang mga representative organisms are the bacteria, the blue-green algae, okay. archaeans, and spirochetes. These are some Beverly, examples of this Joy belonging Lorenzo, to this cell type. Prokaryotes. Mm. Prokaryotes, you're correct. And the fourth yes. one, these are giant reptiles that roam the earth during the Mesozoic era. So we are fascinated, amazed by this uh, humongous uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> and that's the fourth four, one. Mm-mm. May nakasagot na po ba for dinosaurs? Nasa prokaryotes pa rin sila. May nagkamali rin. Ah, habol na lang yung mga yan. Then, ating mga ka-ELS. Okay, dinosaur, you are right. Semcolin of uh, Manuel Pabregas. Okay, meron na po. Dinosaur and Adrian Alvarez. Next. Mm-hmm. And finally, the one. basic cell type possesses a true nucleus which contains the DNA. So kung may prokaryotes, mayroon. Alea Chavez, answer. Eukaryotes. The eukaryotes. Ayan. So we have the, the correct answer or the following. Mahabol pa ng dinosaur si Elizabeth Oh, Reyes. mahabol pa yan. Mga, uh, Ayan. Pati rin si Samantha. Nandiyan din. Sige. Ayan. Ay Hello. So let us proceed. So we have trilobite, homo erectus, prokaryotes, dinosaurs, and eukaryotes. So ito na. Ready na po for screenshot. So we appreciate yung mga nagme-message sa amin, no? For our ELS question of the week. Medyo minsan, uh, late lang namin nare-reply yan kasi medyo may task din kami sa school at medyo Oo. na-busy lang kami this past few weeks. But still, we, well, we, we say thank you sa inyong uh, support. No? Nakakatuwa ang daming nag, uh, nag-effort. Ayun, we, we appreciate your effort. Ito na ang ating question of the week for quarter two, week number one. So if you are an environmentalist, since we talk about different forms of organisms today, Tutor Jules, no? and you were assigned in one of the forests sa ating bansa, which happened to be a location of some endangered species. O medyo challenging tong question na to. Ito yung tanong, what are the plans that you would organize? What are the plans that you would organize to ensure the conservation of the species of the flora and fauna present in your assigned area? Pag sinabi natin flora, this pertains to the plant species. Pag sinabi naman natin 
fauna, this refers to the animal species. Alright? So if you are an environmentalist, anong gagawin mo para makonserve yung mga living organisms? Send your answers via Facebook. I-PM lang kami sa Itula ELS with Tutor Tony and Tutor Jules. Papost ko rin to sa ating Facebook page just in case you miss our ELS question of the week. And speaking of that, ayan, before we reveal our mga sumagot last, last, last week, no? Here are our key points for this afternoon. The Earth is about 4.6 or 4.5 to 4.6 billion years old. And life on our planet probably began only between 3.5 and 4.0 billion years ago. Next one, evidences from fossil records show the emergence of the different life forms. Ayan, so nagbigay talaga ng clue ang mga fossils kung anong mga particular organisms ang nabuhay in a particular time ng Earth's history. And we talk about also today uh, stromatolites. Ayan, at the present, the oldest cell microfossils are the filaments from the 3.5 billion year old rocks in Western Australia. By the way, ang mga stromatolites, ha, they can still be seen on areas uh, Australia right uh, ngayon at, at present day. So para silang mga living fossil, kumbaga. So the filaments resemble chains of modern photosynthetic bacteria and the rocks in which they occur are the remains of the ancient stromatolites. Another key point, ayan, tandaan mga ka-ELS, eukaryotic cells evolved from prokaryotic cells. Next, the evolution of life is, of course, brought about by the changes in the environment which are linked to changes uh, na napakalaki or napaka-importanting factor yung nangyari sa uh, Earth's history, no? yung climate, like just like the Ice Age, di ba? Nung natuno yung Ice Age, tapos nang nung nagkaroon ng impact yung isang malaking meteoroid or asteroid, it, uh, it affected kung ano yung mga organisms na naging extinct at mga nag -ex or exist existing pa rin right now. And of course, yung mga geological processes. And then finally, these changes made the Earth's environment more suitable for a wider variety of life forms. Kitang-kita naman, no? So, so sobrang dami ng mga living organisms natin, Shooter Jules. So, kumbaga, maliit na percentage pa lang ang nade-discover at napapangalanan ng ating mga uh, experts or mga scientists. All right. Uh, ito na yung question natin last week, last last week, and our we're saying congratulations to the following: Francis Carrel C. Bayan from Jones Rural School. Uh, we also have J. Elasam from Tumawini National High School, Isabela. Also, Jano Maria Ferrer, ayan, the same school, Tumawini National High School, Isabela. Uh, care of Ma'am Joan Ma uh, Magallones. Si Francis naman ay care of Ma'am Ivy Pfizer Gabehan. Get well soon, Ma'am Ivy. Ayan. So they answered our questions correctly. The same with Diane Joy D. Madaya. Congratulations from Toma Winnie National High School, Isabela. So bakit nga ba tinawag na Stable Island ng Palawan? That is because uh, ang foundation ng, uh, ng Palawan is said to be continental rocks. And aside from that, uh, kung maalala niyo yung discussion natin about uh, uh, hazard maps, di ba? So Palawan also has no active volcanoes, no active fault lines, and no deep trenches. So walang mga paggalaw na magagana. Or mer kung meron mga shaking, it's because of the nearby areas. Alright, so congratulations to our hashtag Mahusay Answers of the Week. And time for our quiz, Shooter Jules. Question number one po. Can you read? Okay, ready na mga anak. So get ready. One, oxygen was scarce during the early development of Earth. By this situation, what kind of organism first existed? A, aerobic organism. B, anaerobic organism. C, mammal. D, protist. So mga ka-ELS, process of elimination. So nag-develop pa lang yung Earth dyan. So wala pa dyan mammal. By the way, type the number of your answer before the letter. Please indicate the number. Ayan. Kapag walang oxygen... Ayan, uh, hello, so that is... Hello from 11 Edison of Conception, National High School Division Ayan, of Ayan, sa mga taga-hilong Sir Rafael hello. Rodores. Sir Raph. Ayan, laging nakaantabay si Sir. Mm-mm. Tsaka nag-respond lang siya. hello sa mga taga-kaibiga high school. Anak, napuno nyo na ng pabate, uh, ano, pa-shout out. Hello mga taga-kaibiga <laughs> high school. <laughs> yes, yeah, siyempre ma'am, uh, full support uh, sa kanilang ano, ELS yes, teacher. Yes, thank you so much sa aking mga anak. Yes. And for number one, may sumagot na po ba? For number one, yes, it's letter B. 
B. Ayan. Very so, good. Una, You're una, right, Lenuel Bayer, Guevara, Lopez, Lenuel, Lopez Lenuel. Alvarez, Napoles, Grace. Lahat po tama, sir. Napoles, Uy, very good. Mahusay. Okay, lahat po. Ang haba, sir. Uh, Mamawala. <laughs> Number two. Why do you think the emergence of plants and animals came later than simple living organisms? A. Their existence is not that important on Earth. B. Their size is too big that it takes longer time for development. C. The cell structure of these multicellular organisms are more complex. D. Mm -hmm. These organisms are composed of many nucleus compared to unicellular organism. Yan. Mm -hmm. Medyo analysis ang gagawin natin. Try to yan, analyze ang ating mga choices. So, bakit kaya nauna yung mga simple forms, mga microscopic organisms, bago mag-exist, of course, yung mga plants and animals tulad natin. Sige nga. So, I hope hindi okay, lang so, gumagaya ng ano, an answer. Ha? So, try okay, to think, of course. Pero yung course. kanina, habang wala pa, while I'm waiting, tama, you're right. Legaspi, number one, Villaruel, Hamero. All right. Okay, Grace, Cabasal, Corpus, and wow. we have number two. Okay, it's letter A. Uh, Wani, Francisco, Dayag, Nicole, o Prince Salarda. It's letter A. Is it A letter nga ba? A? Are you sure their existence is not that How, important? Uh, according to Cheska Michael, it's letter C. Mark Napoles, it's letter C. Mm -hmm. And according to Balubar, it's letter D. And Vivi Grace, it's letter iba. A. Iba-iba sila. Diyan na nagkakatalo sa question number two. Okay. All right, the correct Kuhanan answer po, actually walang is... Walang sumagot ng B, A, uh -oh, B, C, oh. wala pang B. So Ay, that's it. Na A, sagot. <laughs> C, D. And the correct answer is walang sumagot ng B kasi ang haba ka ng B doon yung maanalyze. Because their size, their size is too size big. Is too big. Uh -oh. So mas complex kasi in terms of size, in terms of uh, cellular structure, yung mga higher forms of organisms just like us, mga plants and animals. Okay, yung sumagot ng next... A, yung sumagot ng A, their existence is not that important in Oo, Earth. Oo, importante so? sila. So bawat Hindi. living organisms uh, biologically important yan at ginawa yan ni God for a purpose. Alright? So, bawi sa question number three. Ayan, okay. ana analysis din to, to produce. <laughs> Mahaba na naman ulit. Which of the following is not true about the evidence that fossils provide? Mm -hmm. A. All fossils true, gathered ah. contain intact DNA that can be sequenced. Mm -hmm. B, Lahat ba ng fossils? B. Fossil DNA? Fossil ages can often be determined by testing nearby rocks. C. Fossil organisms often, often share physical similarities with living organisms. And D. Some fossil organisms are transitional forms between groups of organisms. Okay, number three. Ready? Puro number two pa rin ito. Ah. Okay, number so three. So, not We're looking for the false race. statement. Uh, okay, it's course. letter A. Letter mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. Letter A. Bautista Ako? Araha, letter C. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then letter <laughs> C. Stern Kulin, Pabregas, letter C. Lenwell Bayer, B. Parang kilala ko si Bayer na to. Opo, oh, naging top ah, student okay. po natin siya. Consistent pa rin. Nandito pa rin siya. Uh, yes. B, it's sa kanya. Ay kay Grace, it's A. Okay, and the correct answer the is... The correct answer is A. Bakit letter A? Because hindi lahat ng fossils na nagather or na excavate ng ating mga geologists may DNA. Bakit? Kasi depende yon kung saan na form yung fossil na yon. So hindi lahat ng particular environment makakapag-preserve ng DNA. And as we all know, DNA as a nucleic acid, very delicate yon. So hindi lahat ay makakapag-preserve ng intact DNA. If you would recall dun sa movie na ano no, Tutor Jules, yung uh, Jurassic uh, Jurassic Park. So meron silang extract na DNA dun sa I think sa mosquito yon. That's why na parami ulit nila or parang na-reproduce nila yung mga dinosaurs. So, pero yun, uh, fictional kasi yun. Alright? So, letter A is the correct answer. For our, for our final Sheila, question... Sheila, Balubar, Renzal, Marana, Kata, puro A yung mga yan. And then may nag -B. Oh, good job. Okay, very good. And very for good. number letter four, A. the study of history of life is indeed significant as part of searching for the fossils of previous organisms. Stromatolites played a significant role. Which is true about stromatolites? A. It is found on eukaryotes. B. It is produced by endosymbiosis. C. It consists of layered bacteria and sediment. D. Mm -hmm. It is formed during volcanic eruption. 
So, go, 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 mga anak. Mention lang natin, Tutor Jules, no? Pag sinabi natin endosymbiosis, no? So, endo means uh, uh, inside. Kumbaga, sa process ng development or evolution, no? There was a theory of, or theory of endosymbiosis kung saan uh, on a particular cell type, pumasok, pumasok siya. So, prokaryotic uh, cell type pumasok sa developing eukaryotic. Tapos, naging ano daw yun? Naging uh, little organs sila or mga... Organelles. But we are looking for, which is true about stromatolites. May mga nakadikit doon, di ba? Tapos sila yung nagproduce ng oxygen. Kaya naging stable lang ating atmosphere. Okay, so magot na ba, Jutor Jules? Rona, Parang, ano, Mira, Mira Estrada, your answer, week? C, Jan Michael Marana, right. C, maraming C. C, and then meron bang iba? It's Balobar. Ano tong sa'yo, Balobar? It's C. Balobar, Napoles, okay. Cano, C, lahat nag C. Oy, wala nang iba, puro C. Alright, okay, actually, that is the Corpus correct A. answer. Ayan. Okay, the correct answer it's letter C. Oh, ah, katuwa na, naman. Nakabawi ang ating mga ka-ALS. Okay, meron Jules. ding nag B. It's okay. So, C. Ah, okay lang yun. Alright. So, but the correct the answer is C. One? It consists of layered bacteria and sediment. sediment. And of course, uh, our session for this afternoon will not be complete without our my our favorite part or segment called the hashtag Be Inspired and hashtag Be Bliss. So, ang paalala namin ni Shooter Jules palagi, as a senior high school student, syempre, at on a young age, pwede, pwede, pwede pa rin kayong lagi maging blessing sa iba. So, ang sabi dito ni Henry Ford, ayan, matunog ang pangalan sa mga mahilig sa, ano dyan, sa mga cars. So, Henry Ford is an American industrialist and he said, coming together is a beginning. So, para itong ginawa natin for quarter two, it's a good beginning, it's a good start. Keeping together is progress. So, parang yes. sana. Yes, nandiyan pa sila. End, no, to produce. Nadagdagan pa yeah, po. Nadagdagan. Tayo. Uh, mga ka-ELS family. And ito yung pinakamaganda. Working together is success. Yung parang ginagawa natin sa Itulay, di ba? So we're helping our schools, our teachers from all over the Philippines via the Itulay program. So sana supportahan nyo po ang ating mga programa. Ayan. So at sana na-inspire pa rin kayong magpatuloy. And special greeting lang, no, Tutor Jules, sa ating very supportive Itulay Chuti. And napaka-supported din sa aming mga Deped TV teacher broadcasters. Tinatag kami lagi kapag umi-air yung mga episodes namin online at saka sa TV. Happy, happy birthday to Joseph Conrad Bulaklak. Ayan, so he is a grade 12 student ICT ang kinukuha niya. Hello, Joseph. So ayan, record ko na lang ito. Papadala namin sa'yo. Alright, happy, happy birthday sa'yo, anak. And of course, don't forget to continue supporting our hashtag Team Mahusay for Senior High School Science First Semester subjects. And of course, please send us some love. Your feedback matters to us, mga ka-ELS. Uh, send naman kayo ng ano dito, uh, words of encouragement, or baka may gusto kayong sabihin sa amin ng Twitter Jules to improve pa our sessions. Just scan this QR code or visit tinyurl.com slash itulay feedback form. So, hihintayin namin ang inyong mga mensahe. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsama sa amin. Up next na po, no, Tutor Jules, ang ating mga kasamahan sa MIL or Media and Information Literacy and ang ating mga kabiology sa General Biology 1. Once again, I am Tutor Tony of Novaliches High School, SDO, Quezon City. I'm Tutor Jules from Kaibiga High School, Caloacan City. Okay, Ayan. Bye! So kita kits tayo next week, mga ka-ELS. Bye! God bless! Keep safe! Ang husi naman! Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!